冷。是的，有时候最低气温零下十五度。So how do you say it's cooler than yesterday? Good question. Cool in Chinese is 凉快。凉快。嗯哼。凉快 is normally used to describe the weather in autumn. Right. right. You could say 这儿的秋天真凉快。It's cool here in autumn. Keywords reminder. Today we've learned more questions about weather. In China, it's considered that the cities of Nanjing, Chongqing, Wuhan, and Changsha in the south part of China are the four hottest cities. So we Chinese people would like to call them the hot stoves. In August, the high temperature could rise to 43 degrees. Wow, that is hot. So the best time to visit China is definitely in spring and autumn. Exactly. Okay, that's all for this edition of Chinese Studio. Our question of the day is, in Chinese, how do you say today's hotter than yesterday? Well, class is over. 再见。明天见。Send your answer to the following email address: Chinese at cri.com.cn. You can also log on to www.criEnglish.com. Click Learn Chinese to know more about the program and to access to a lot more Chinese learning materials. Discover modern day China by feeling the pulse of its economic, cultural, and social evolutions. This is Beijing 10:08 a.m. Discover Plus Radio, a division of China Radio International. The following program is a recording of a live broadcast transmitted 7 a.m. Beijing time. Examining the events that impact and shape China and the rest of the world. This is the Beijing Hour, one hour of news and information brought to you by China Radio International. Shane Begum with you on this Thursday, June 15th, 2017. Welcome to the Beijing Hour. We're live from the Chinese capital. On the program this morning, a leading Republican congressman in the U.S. has been critically injured in a shooting at a baseball field in suburban Virginia. Twelve deaths have been confirmed following the fire that destroyed an apartment tower in London, but many remain missing. And a high-level dialogue on U.S.-China economic relations says the current uh, development trend is generally positive. In business, the IMF has raised its growth forecast for China. Sports. This summer's Chinese national games will be open to the Chinese diaspora for the first time. Entertainment. A Chinese company's bought a stake in the latest Transformers movie. First of all, a check of the day's headline news. Chinese President Xi Jinping has suggested Luxembourg could play an active role in developing relations between China and the European Union. Union. The Chinese leader told visiting Luxembourg Prime Minister Xavier Battelle that China sees Luxembourg as an important cooperative partner within the EU. Xi Jinping also suggested that both sides could expand cooperation in traditional fields like finance while cultivating new growth points in the areas of air transportation, uh, new technology and the green economy. The president said China supports the construction of an air silk road between China's Zhengzhou and Luxembourg. Patel said Luxembourg stands for a deepened and constructive dialogue between the EU and China. Patel's on an official visit to China. He also held talks with top Chinese uh, lead legislator uh, Zhang Dejiang and Premier Li Keqiang. China said it welcomes uh, clarification by Uganda's government regarding alleged involvement of Chinese diplomats in an ivory trafficking case. The Ugandan foreign ministry issued a statement on Monday confirming the two Chinese nationals allegedly involved in the case are not accredited diplomats with the Chinese embassy. The Ugandan side also expressed regret over the negative impact caused by the incident and reiterated its commitment to strengthening relations and friendship with China. In response, the Chinese foreign ministry voiced support for African countries, including Uganda, to crack down on trafficking in accordance with their laws. 
Mainland authorities have announced a leading official of the Communist Party of China will attend this year's Straits Forum, scheduled for later this week in Fujian. Mainland officials said Yu Zhengsheng, chair of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, and Taiwan's Kuomintang leader, Hung Shouchu, will attend the forum along with more than 8,000 other participants. Uh, topics of the forum will mainly focus on how to bring innovations into activities. A series of activities will also be held for exchanges between between youths from across the strait. Bangladeshi officials have said at least 146 people have been confirmed dead by landslides triggered by heavy rain over the past two days. Landslides hit three hilly districts in Bangladesh southeast early on Tuesday. Many people are still missing, and authorities have said more deaths are likely as rescuers search for bodies. Four soldiers who were trapped by a landslide after they joined the rescue operation are among the dead. Meantime, in the two Indian states which border Bangladesh, at least 11 people have been killed as rains flooded major cities. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said the country was ready to give an adequate response to NATO's expansion in order to maintain a strategic balance. Speaking in a TV interview, Putin said the deployment of a ballistic missile shield in eastern European countries near Russia's border was a threat to Russia. He added that the defensive system could easily be transformed into attack in a matter of minutes or hours, and that was another threat facing Russia. According to Putin, their response will be much cheaper, but it will be effective. Everything in focus, all in one place. China Plus focuses on the Middle Kingdom, bringing you breaking news and the stories that matter to you. Search for China Plus in the App Store or Google Play. It's five minutes past the hour. A gunman opened fire at a baseball field in suburban Virginia on Wednesday, not far from Washington, D.C. House Representative Steve uh, Scalise, the majority whip, and four others were injured. Our Washington chief correspondent, Xiao Hong, has more. The ambush occurred in the early morning when members of the Congressional Republican baseball team were practicing for Thursday night's charity game. House Representative Steve Scalise the third-ranking Republican in the House was shot in the hip and four others, including two Capitol Police officers, were injured. President Trump praised the heroic actions of the police officers. Many lives would have been lost if not for the heroic actions of the two Capitol Police officers who took down the gunman despite sustaining gunshot wounds during a very, very brutal assault. The shooter, a 66-year-old Democrat supporter from the state of Illinois, died from gun wounds after he was taken to hospital. His social media posts showed a rage against President Trump, and in a 2015 post on his Facebook account, the shooter singled out the injured congressman, saying Representative Scalise should lose his job, but instead was awarded a raise. The message was accompanied by a cartoon depiction of Scalise. Although federal authorities said it was too early to determine whether the assault targeted members of Congress, House Representative Ron DeSantis, who left the scene before the shooting, disclosed his encounter with the shooter. So I did have an interaction with someone in the parking lot who asked me if the team practicing was a Democrat or Republican team. I told him they were Republicans. He said, okay, thanks, turn around. I got the car and left to find out that uh, my Republican colleagues were targeted. It's also revealed that the shooter had once volunteered for Senator Bernie Sanders' campaign last year. The senator immediately denounced the brutal act. Real change can only be done through nonviolent action and anything else runs counter to our most deeply held American values. President Trump also urged the nation to stay in solidarity. We may have our differences. But we do well in times like these to remember that everyone who serves in our nation's capital is here because, above all, they love our country. We can all agree that we are strongest when we are unified. said this should be a turning point to change the political climate in the country. 
Shahom CRI, Washington, D.C. Four people have reportedly been killed in a shooting at a UPS facility in San Francisco, including the shooter. Two injured victims have been taken to hospital. According to acting chief Tony Chaplin of the San Francisco Police Department, the shooter shot himself in the head during a confrontation with police officers at the scene on Wednesday.